you're going to go to computer and this is where the guest editions are this is going to enable you to share a folder you're not going to be able to do it unless you're not and you're going to share the folder right out over here these are all the shared areas but what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this for now we're going to go up to machine devices view okay what we got to do first is what we have to do is we have to log out of this okay here's shared folders Okay, what we want to do, we can either go up there and add shared folders, you can close out, see where it says the folder down here, right click on it, and also you can go to shared folders. Okay, you want to add a shared folder. Click down here, click a other. Okay, see, I, I'm going to go to the different hard drive. I have VirtualBox backup in here, which I, I named it that folder, it's not really a backup. You can see it has my other websites in here. That's a really a bad name. I suggest you use a better name than that one. But anyway, you're going to hit open. And now it's giving me a boarded for some reason. Okay, let's start it up again, because now we have a shared folder. I don't know why it's giving me these errors. In Linux Mint 14, you won't get any of this. So we're going to boot up as fast as we can, start Windows normally. Because when I share the folder, it shut down the system. You can remove the Windows 7 installation disk at this point. Okay, we're going to click on that right shared folders again and we'll see what happens. Okay, hit plus again. We'll select the folder. Hopefully, we won't get an error this time. If I get an error, what I would do is I'd make it on the same hard drive, the shared folder, as the uh, Ubuntu install. But I'm going to give it one more chance. Hit open. Okay, I'm going to make it permanently. And uh, so now it's not going to, you're not going to have to ask to do it again. Auto mount, read only. When checked, the OS will not be able to write. When checked, the guest OS will try to automatically mount the shared folder on startup, which is fine. Hit OK. OK, now you should be able to hit OK again and we should be full. Because the access is full. Hit OK. OK, now what you want to do is you want to go to Windows Explorer again. Go to Network. OK, let's see if the shared folder pops up. The shared folder should have popped up here somewhere. And I don't see the shared folder anywhere, which is a surprise. Oh, I, I know why, because it's inside the, see the VBox SVR? It's my stupidity again. You had to double click that. Here's the folder. Okay, see how you see everything? Because it sticks the, uh, ver it, the shared folder inside the VBox uh, SVR. Now when you open up Linux, and we go to the same folder. Remember we went to the... Um, where is it? The virtual box backup. Okay, now look at the uh, files in here. They're the same. AVS for you, AVS for you, digital traffic, websites. So now, whether you do the editing with Windows or you do the editing with Ubuntu and save it in, inside this uh, directory, both programs will be able to access it at will. So if you have programs that just don't work in Linux, like you need a good PDF editor, well, then you use the um, one that comes that you can use, like um, the Adobe Acrobat or the um, one of my favorites is the Cute PDF Pro. 
it's a lot cheaper and it does basically the same stuff now you can do all your editing in, in Windows save it to this folder and then you can use it over here it's that simple again I want to show you where that folder is located you click on network you click on VBox server and then you click on the folder and there it is everything's right here this is Patrick Altmeyer.